Hi, I'm Pat, and today we're going to uh, install and configure uh, the RunCam 2 Split. Um, a little quick review of this product. It is a uh, um, RunCam uh, um, Swift 2 Mini, uh, um, essentially with a slightly different interface on the back, providing a direct connection to a video capture card in 30.5 by 30.5 millimeter mountings and I'm going to install it into this iFlight XL5 um, right now. So some of the things I really like about this and why I picked it was that this is a lot smaller and a lot lighter than um, the uh, 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 putting a GoPro on top. It is uh, more embedded and sleeker too. Um, Oh, and also there's the brackets on this. I had an issue with this one. It, it, it's low profile, so there's some limitations on how it fits. The mini size fits better for this frame anyways. And this is my top favorite build to date that I call Miami, Miami Vice for the uh, uh, pink, purple, blue colors, kind of 80s style. Anyhow, never mind all that. Okay, so another thing you might want to know about this product, right? Uh, it, it's really solid, but you do need to be careful with it. Also, when you firmware update it, be sure to only power it from the USB. Um, that's, 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 that's a really, really important detail. And uh, one last thing on that end of it, you want ultra or pro flash card memory that is fast as possible. The 100 megabit per second is best. I think you can work with lower, like 80, but I'm putting a 100 megabit card in. So it's an ultra pro. And well, let's get started. All right, so I've buttoned up the XL5 and uh, have uh, we got the cards all installed. I've placed an SD card into this. Um, this, by the way, is the Wi-Fi port. And this port over here is a USB port. Only do firmware updates powered through here with no other power sources. For the run camp split and we're gonna go hook up to a uh, beta flight here are the two uh, controls for push buttons which are really really nice to have in case you don't want to do it through uh, your controller or, you know through a you can also set up a PDA through the Wi-Fi and we're gonna do that in the next section or the next time I come back but right now let's set this up so here we go let's go ahead and plug in And launch beta flight. Connect. All right, well, there we are. So what we need to do is we set up on UART4. We need to configure that to be a peripheral with RunCamp split. So we go over to our ports, and I have it on UART4. You could have it on a different one, whichever one you attach the to the uh, UART TX pin. So I have it on four, and I'm gonna change this to RunCamp split. Save and reboot. Always hit the save button. Real easy to forget. You get used to autosave, you know? Anyhow, okay, so UART4 is configured correctly. Configuration we don't have to do anything with. Uh, power and battery. I'm gonna do another video if people wanna see how to calibrate your current settings. That'll be posted in about a couple weeks. Uh, anyhow, we need to go over to modes. And in modes, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, configure the camera options. Because in here, I don't know if you've noticed before that Betaflight had added these, we have some new options here. Camera Wi-Fi, camera power, and camera change. And I'm going to put these on UX1, UX2, UX3 for this example. So let's add a range here and put it over here at the far end of the switches. And uh, go ahead and add camera power. Put it on UX2 and camera change mode. I'll put on UX3. Hit save. And we should be working. So I have my transmitter here. Mm. Oh, there's a couple of things we need to do. We need to power this up and we need to uh, put a Wi Fi module in. Because when I flip the Wi-Fi switch, I don't want it to say Wi-Fi not present. 
uh, on that end of it. So I'm gonna put the power out for just a sec, just to be safe. I always power everything down. Make sure I'm looking at that right. Old man, old eyes, it's hard to see. Don't get old. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go back in here and plug back in again. And here we are again. And right away I noticed I got some other beeps too, which is really good. Looking really good that this thing is hooked up correctly. Um, and we're gonna go give this a test. So why don't we do a couple things. First we go to mode, since we can see our switch settings. I always like to do this when I have the, uh, the, the stuff right in front of me. Um, and I also wanna verify that my camera's working. I have a little handheld monitor here. Hopefully this will show up in the, on there. Wait for it, there it is. It's alive. And maybe if I hold it right where it's not too bright, the camera will pick it up correctly. Um, I apologize for the screen. Anyhow, it's, it's working. So let's try with the Tyrannus. Let's see what we get here. I have, I had my switches down. Okay, so the one that's really interesting is this first one, Wi-Fi. And I'm gonna turn the Wi-Fi on. Let's see what happens. Hey, confirmation beeps. And over here on the monitor, which I haven't set up the Wi-Fi yet, it's coming up and saying, hey, set up your Wi-Fi. And it has just uh, turned off the camera input so that it can display the on-screen information. So how do you clear that too is um, just go back to the Default so it's kind of like a push button, so you got to switch it back again to do click on, click off, sort of. And I turned the Wi-Fi off, and boom, I got my picture back. Okay, so uh, also, uh, let's check the uh, turning off the camera power on and off. And actually, that's the the record camera power is camera recording power, not power to your FPV camera and turn it back on just turn it back on like it did the first time when it said beep beep when it started up so it's a turns on turns off and i have uh, um ux3 actually on d for mine and that is working too so we can use the change mode there's three different mode settings and actually you can see that switch in here too let me do it again Let's see if we get that up on the screen pretty good And here's the uh, 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 OSD controls. And then back to camera. So it's working. Ha <laughs> ha. Give yourself a pat on the back and an applause or whatever. I always kind of feel very satisfied when it works. <laughs> and uh, I'll catch you here in just a second. Now that you have the card set up, uh, we need to set up the uh, Tyrannus. And that's pretty simple. All you need to do is. Uh, let's go back to the main menu. Sorry. Okay. Uh, is from there is go and uh, um, go for your model that you have selected. Mine says XL5. Page on over to. Hopefully this is coming in nice and clear. The inputs uh, set settings, and what you want to do is go down and if you haven't already for your switches. Most people probably have, but uh, set input for, if you're doing my example, I'm gonna use uh, channels five, six, and five, six, seven, and that'll be taking inputs from switch A, switch B, and switch C, which I've already done. And hopefully that's nice and clear in the picture there. Um, maybe also here on the screen and certainly in the manual and stuff that you get. But you gotta get your Trana set up and then uh, you're ready to set up the modes and configure Betaflight. All right, so why don't we set up the Wi-Fi? And to do that, what we're gonna do is, uh, first of all, we need to download the app to your Android or Apple device. I've already downloaded it to my tablet here. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and connect it. So to, to get started, there's a few things I need to do. Um, I'm going to turn on my transmitter here, 
Uh, I'm going to install the Wi-Fi card, make sure you guys can all see that good. Little tiny thing here. And I'm going to plug this in to that port that it fits in. And it's ready to go. It's plugged in, so let's give it some power here. And I could see on my on-screen display, oh, it went away already, but that uh, uh, or we're talking and, and the rest, and I'll hold it back up for the camera in a second here. But what we need to do next is we need to configure it. So I've downloaded the app, and this is on and the Wi-Fi's on, but let's do one other thing. Let's turn the Wi-Fi on here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to my Tyrannus, and remember I configured that switch on the switch A here. So if I flip that down, that should turn my Wi-Fi on. And it did. It says Wi-Fi on here. Sorry that there's text overriding it on this one, but it's saying the SSID is RC split under bar and then a number, alpha numeric type number that is unique to each Wi-Fi uh, uh, card. It says what the password is, which is really important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. And that's the information that we really need. Because now what we'll do, and we have this set, Put both of those down. I'm going to come back up over here to the uh, RunCan app, and hopefully this will be clear enough. And I'll talk it too so that you can understand. Oh, first of all, I got to choose which device. So, RunCan split, and connect your camera. And it walks you through the steps of turn on the Wi Fi. I already did these steps, so with you guys. Now it says it's searching and I'm not ready for that yet. And now to connect. Why didn't it find it? Because ooh, it's even trying to tell me what I need to see on my screen. I need to go over here to my device and I need to connect to that Wi-Fi device because it's doing a peer-to-peer. -peer. And all you have to do is tap on your Wi-Fi button and most devices will go out and search it did, and as I look over here, I see my RC split device. It's going to ask me what the password is. Remember now, we, we already know that now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. And hit join. Make sure we've got a connection there. Yes, we do. Okay. So now I'll go back over to the RunCan app. Let's get back, sorry. Let's, let's just start over here at the beginning. Okay, connect your camera. Next step. Now I've got the app running and I'm connected on the Wi-Fi. And oh, it says it's connecting. Look at that, hey, hey, hey. Ho, oh, ho, it's working. Woohoo! We've done it. We can take pictures and video. Uh, uh, take it to a, uh, switching it to photo. Oh, it's blurry. Oh, it was just taking a moment, moment to get the camera set up right. Give it time, and then it's got to send it through Wi-Fi. Ah, so it's ready here, and hey, I'm going to take a beautiful picture of a Pepsi can. And let's go over to video here. Let's record just a little bit of video to test it. So, oh boy, we're recording. Yeeha. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. One, two, three. Okay, and let's see, somewhere on here, I think I can play it back too. I've actually not run this app, I just got this working myself. So, and, and shot the video, oops, I went out of it already. Uh, I'm gonna explore. My mission here was to set it up and show you how to set it up. You guys can figure out how to record and work the menus on the app, because uh, I'll take some time to figure it out myself. But it's working, ha <laughs> ha, awesome stuff. Thank you for taking your time to watch my video and have a great weekend and go fly.